So first thing, uh, you'll need to take either a ratchet or an impact gun and remove the 10 differential cover bolts if it's a Dana axle. Okay, once you've removed the cover bolts, just tap the edge of the cover with your hammer. And then you've got your differential cover removed. Sometimes the gasket will stay on the cover, sometimes it will stay on the housing. Uh, just be careful when you pull it off. Try not to rip it if you can. Okay, so now once we've uh, removed the differential cover, I'm going to explain some of the parts that are in here and uh, what we need to take off to be able to get uh, to the inner tube seal. So first thing uh, that I want to know is if you look at your axle housing that, care that uh, holds all of the internal parts, Dana has stamped uh, a number or a letter on each side of your housing and one is in one orientation facing vertically and one is in one orientation facing horizontally. And the carrier caps that go over your carrier bearings have a corresponding number or letter that's in the same orientation. Sometimes you can't see this stamping on the housing, and so what I like to do is take a pen, and I'll mark a one and a two on the housing, and I'll also do the same on the carrier caps that way when you go to put it back together you can get them in the right spot they've been machined to fit on the certain side of the housing that they're on so it's important that you get those put back in the same place so first thing to get the uh, internal parts out is you're going to need to remove those carrier caps there should be four bolts to do so on most Dana axles so I'm going to go ahead and do that Okay, so after you've removed the carrier caps, the next thing that we'll need to do uh, is remove the carrier and ring gear as an assembly uh, from the axle housing. A trick that we like to use here, uh, if you don't have a spreader, which would sit in these two plug weld holes, and uh, you crank on it and it separates the housing, uh, most people probably don't have that tool, so what we like to use is a crowbar. I'll show you how you can do that. If you take the hooked end of your crowbar and get it underneath one of your ring gear bolts and set it here on the housing, you can pop it free. And pull your ring gear and carrier out as an assembly. Now, if you notice when I took that out, if you're not going to replace your carrier bearings, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you leave the carrier bearing races on the side that they came off of. So you could mark those as well, or just leave them on as I did so that you know where to put them when you go to reinstall it. 